Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Bad Bookers Wrestling Podcast. I have to apologise for the lighting because I'm doing a review from my car again and it's night time. Like the good old days. Um, NXT happened tonight and I can see why there were spoilers about now. And I'm so glad I missed them all. I managed to stay away from every spoiler out there because I assume they're all leading up to this. Tommaso Ciampa is your new NXT champion. The guy's just got so much heat. He's amazing. <laughs> just an amazing heel. The crowds were booing him. They were stunned. They didn't know how to react. It was just incredible. Match was up to the match as well. The match was incredible as well. But we'll kick things off from the start of NXT. We had Adam Cole defending his North American title against Sean Maluta. I believe he was in the Cruiserweight Classic. Um, I don't think he got that far, but don't don't uh, trust me on that because I'm not too sure on uh, Sean Maluta myself. It was a pretty straightforward match. Um, Adam Cole won in quite quick fashion, but it was more the aftermath of the match with um, Adam Cole cutting a promo, pretty much saying that um, he gave this kid a chance and if anyone else wants a chance, and before he could finish his sentence, Ricochet came out and said, um, you're good, but you're a coward in my opinion. Give me a match at NXT Brooklyn, take over Brooklyn for that title and we'll see, see how much of a coward you really are. And Adam Cole was like, yeah, you're right. I am good. And that's why I refuse to work with someone like you. It's a classic smarmy heel from Adam Cole. Love it, really. Um, Ricochet called him a coward again. Adam Cole went to jump in the ring. Ricochet did his little flip off the ropes and onto his knee. Pretty standard Ricochet stuff. And Adam Cole was walking back up the ramp. Undisputed Era came out as backup and... All three of them went to the uh, to the ring again because he had back at this time, only to be stopped in their tracks by none other, none other than War Raiders who came out, and the looks on their faces said it all. Said it all. So, Undisputed Era ran away. Um, Ricochet was still in the ring at this point. Undisputed Era ran away, and um, they like ran into the crowd, I believe, and. Who was behind them? None other than Mustache Mountain were behind them. They started to have a brawl. They ran away again uh, in Disputed Era. And, yeah, so it wasn't announced, but hopefully that sets up Cole versus Ricochet, because that would just be awesome. <laughs> Amazing. And I don't think Disputed Era had their rematch yet for the tag titles, so... I assume they're going to get that. Like I said, I still haven't seen any spoilers for Brooklyn, so I don't know what the matches are and whatnot. But I assume that's happening. Um, Undisputed Era versus Mustache Martin for the titles. And then that would suggest whoever wins that next up is War Raiders, which in my eyes, perfect. Perfect in my book. Uh, next up, we had a contract signing for the women's title. Between Shayna Baszler and Kairi Zane, nothing really happened. It was pretty. Uh, it was one of these backstage contract signings, which they uh, have done in the past, which I prefer, to be fair, because in-ring contract signings always end up the same, really. Um, but yeah, it was pretty back and forth. Shayna saying that it's not a rematch because the Shayna that lost to Kairi in the Mae Young Classic is nothing like the Shayna now. Kairi just saying, I've beaten you once, I can beat you again. All the standard stuff, so nothing really to uh, hype up there. Um, we had a women's match again uh, with Lacey Evans versus. I do apologise, I forgot her name. I didn't write it down, and I couldn't find. There was nothing on Twitter that I could find her name, so I was like, okay, I'll just put forgot. So I do apologise. It was a quick, simple match. Lacey Evans won. I really like Lacey Evans. She's probably one of my favourite, if not my favourite, women on the roster at the moment, on the uh, NXT roster. Just 
I think everything she does is great, in my opinion. But we had the main event of the evening, NXT title, Champa versus Black. And they gave it a good 25 minutes, I believe. 25 to half hour. And it was just an excellent match there. Throwbacks to the Gargano Champa match. Um, at the start of the match, obviously Alistair Black's more of a pure striker kind of wrestler. But start of the match, it was all mat based wrestling, which Alistair Black was winning. He was all over uh, Champa pretty much. And then started coming the strikes with the huge kicks to the chest and whatnot from Black to Champa. Uh, Champa was targeting Alistair Black's back, easy for me to say. Alistair Black's back. And it was just incredible. The finish of the match was um, Champa hit his. The DDT from the middle rope. I can't. There is a name for it, but is it like a Hangman DDT or something like that? I'm not too sure. Um, he hit that, went to pin Black. Black kicked out, so that made uh, Champa rip up the outside, like he did against uh, Gargano. Rip up the outside, and was planning to, you know, DDT Black. In the concrete, the ref stopped it. The ref was on the outside. Champa jumped in the ring to go after Black, and Black pushed Champa into the ref. He fell onto the exposed concrete, and Black pinned Champa. I think the crowd had counted. I think it was like 11, 12 seconds. He was pinning him for. Realised the ref was down and out on the outside. Went to try and pick him up. Couldn't. Jumped back in the ring, and Champa did something can't remember what he did but he did something and then who was there to greet Champa when he turned round none other than Johnny Gargano who hit him with a super kick at this point oh that was it Champa went to get the NXT belt took brought it in the ring um Gargano was there hit him with super, his super kick tried to grab the belt from Champa's hands and as he as Champa kind of like let go Gargano like flung backwards, smashed Champa in the face, smashed Black in the face of it even, and Champa did his finishing move. Well, he threw Gargano out of the ring, did his finishing move. By this point, the ref was in the ring. One, two, three. Alistair Black is going to take over Brooklyn, I assume, as NXT champion. Which I feel sorry for Alistair Black because. Don't think he's lost in a singles match on NXT, and they made him lose his title on a weekly episode of NXT in his first loss, which I find incredible. Um, I assume it's going to be Black. I don't know if they're going to try and add Gargano to the matchup as well. Um, I kind of hope not. Um, I don't. I don't mind being spoiled about matches at Takeover. Just I don't want to know about title changes, so I actively avoided it because I saw there was a title change uh, on one of the recordings. Didn't know what it was, and I'm glad that I didn't because that would have slightly ruined the immersion, if you will. Um, but I can see why it would be a triple threat. I hope not because it kind of feels like Alistair Black's just been pushed into Gargano Champa's feud, and that would also mean that you, if it's a triple threat, you probably think Black's taking the pin as well. If he's not winning it back. So, yeah, I kind of hope it's just Black versus Champa, but I can see it being the triple threat Champa, Gargano, Black. But either way, I'm not going to complain that much because it will be a fire match. Fire match. Um, and yeah, that was it. The crowd, like I said, were booing, ch chanting profanities at, the, at Champa like they usually do. Shocked faces in the crowds. The cameraman did great work in just showing the reaction of the crowds and it kind of added to the reactions, if you will, kind of added to it all. But yeah, that was NXT. It's been a short review, but nothing much happened other than the start of the night, end of the night was amazing. Nothing to uh, take away from the women. They did their bit, but... Ricochet, Adam Cole, if that happens, that'd be great. Um, I'm hope hoping it's Mustache Mountain for Sunspeed Era, because that would be great. We've seen how great that is. And 
Champ is going into a takeover as the main guy in NXT now, which is nothing more than he deserves in my opinion. But there you go, that's my opinion. Um, if you like this review, I know it's a quick review and the lighting's not great, I'm in my car and whatnot, but a throwback to the good old days. Yeah, if you like that, please like, please subscribe. Any questions, we are recording the podcast later on today as it's Thursday morning. And, um, yeah, leave them down below in the comments. Um, Twitter, at BadBookersWP. Follow us on there. We just reached over a 1,000 followers on the Twitter, which is incredible, incredible. Um, Leave us a question on there if you want to. And I shall see you. I believe Smoothman is doing a vlog on Sunday because me, Smoothman, and uh, Lelujo, Kev... We're going to NXT UK in Cambridge, so we're going to do a vlog on that. We're, we're not going to spoil anything, but just a vlog, a, a vlog of the day. We'll try not to spoil anything. We'll probably do, if there's anything... We won't spoil it on Twitter, but we're going to have to do a review on it because we're there. So I don't know how much we're going to review of it, if there's anything big that happens. I doubt there's going to be any title changes or anything like that. Um, there might be like a progression to a tournament or something I'm not too sure but yeah we'll see what happens but yeah please like please subscribe and I shall see you again next week the vlog will probably be out Monday or Tuesday Um, I'll definitely see you next week for Monday Night's Raw thank you and goodbye